All right, Cancer. This is a special video ser series, series, I guess I was going to say. Series, I'm putting a playlist out. It's going to be in a playlist. I'm going to do one of these videos every couple of days. Maybe every day. I don't know. They're just shorts. That's all they are. This here is the about video. It's the first video. It's the first time I'm going to explain this. Only time. And then I'm going to just going forward pull cards i'm gonna pull cards here in this one this is our first it's the about video and it's a card pull well listen up i got you know you know that i'm i'm pretty dialed into you guys all right i did a pre-shuffle before this and i got the ten of wands at the bottom of the deck here now this playlist is called the cure for cancer <laughs> and uh i'm fixing to help a lot of you i've talked to a lot of you i like you guys i do I'd take you all if I could. You're all terrific people. And that's what I want to talk to you about here. Because I watch a lot of what's going on out there. All us tarot readers, we all watch each other. I watch what's going on out there. I see what the readings have to say. A couple people really got it good, too. They really got it good. But uh, I'm going to say something to you. All right. Here in the month of May, this first video here for the cure for cancer. And again, there'll be one of these little shorts every couple of days. This, this one might be a little longer than normal because we got this opener here about got to tell people what this is. Like nobody reads the blurb, right? Um, might be one, you know, every day, every couple of days. Anyway, uh, you guys have your person here in May. I mean, these videos are timeless, but this is uh, we're just about to go into May 2021. Your person's coming. I mean, they're planning on it. We're still at mercy of their free will, but I'm telling you, this energy is coming in. In. It's keeping me up at night, this cancer energy. It's, it, it's your person is trying to find a way. They feel like there's a missed opportunity. They're pacing around. They're just going to say, oh, snap, and come in. Because this is weighing heavy on your person with this ten of wands that I got in the pre-shuffle before I hit the record button here. Okay? So, I just want to give you guys a little piece of advice. For my readings, for anyone's readings whatever your person hey you're going to get a lot of readers are going to tell you yeah you're going to hear from this person from your past you could they're coming yeah yeah they are i believe it it's true but i want you to also consider your person's free will okay so that i want to curb your enthusiasm there okay just know the main, the main thing with you guys is you change this person's life you change the way your connection change the way they see love the way they view the people around them and I'm going to explain to you why, because other readers have probably said that to you from time to time, and I've said it from time to time, and I'm going to tell you why. Right, I'm going to explain how energy works to you, and I'm going to do it in like one minute. It is just literally a piece of cake to understand. Now, you got magnetism and you got electricity. We're going to talk laws of physics. Magnetism opposites repel. Or, excuse me, magnetism, I got it wrong. Magnetism opposites attract. All right? With electricity, like energy attracts like energy. Hey, we don't do no take twos around here, all right? I got it in my face from time to time. Like energy attracts like energy, all right? All your persons, your one, your one side, they're the other, okay? Uh, in, in the case of your connection, you're positive and they're negative, let's say. There's an, there's an automatic repelling effect there. And it's because it's a powerful twin flame connection that that happens. That's why we have a runner chaser situation usually. All right. Now, what, now, what does that mean? Well, it means that all your life, you you've attracted a certain type of person. You've attracted certain types of friends and certain types of people in your life. They're all the same polarity as you. On the other side, your person's done the same thing. They've attracted all kinds of friends and and people in their life because their polarity is this way. But it's the opposite. It's the, it happens to be, in this case, the opposite of you. So there's a repelling effect because in electricity or energy that runs us, it works the same way. The physics is the same. Opposites repel. In electricity, like energy attracts like energy, just like with the energy of the universe. So you two are on opposite sides of the spectrum. What this connection did, we don't really notice these things. Okay, And what this connection did, your connection for your person was it it showed them something different we don't actually notice that we're i'll use an example your person's people around them as i read them kind of assholes uh we don't notice that we're around assholes 
okay, until some, someone new comes along and we get to look at something different. If we're just in that world, then that's the world we live in. We think it's normal until something different comes along. And that's your connection. That's what's happened here. Your connection with this person, you and the connection, have come in and they got to see, they got a glimpse of something different. And it made them go dark night of the soul, all that kind of stuff, spiritual journey, made them look at the people around them, the people in their life, okay? And, and go, oh, wait, this isn't right, you know? And now, and they see you as right. Because that comes up in the reading all the time. For cancer, you always come up as the king of pentacles in my reading. That's, that's stability. That's reliable. Mr. or Mrs. Reliable is what that is. All right? You always come up as that. So you showed them something different. That made them run for the hills and book it. But it also made them go through dark night of the soul and spiritual journey and all that and take a look at the people around them. So that's, that's where they're at now. Now they've seen that they're surrounded by assholes, basically. In, in this analogy and now they want to come towards you but a lot of time has passed and this person's got a lot of fear about how you're going to respond it's clear in the energy it's right here it's right here in my pre-shuffle this ten of wands they got a lot of fear about how you're going to respond they got a lot of anxiety over this and your person I know from some of the extended readings probably suffers from anxiety acute anxiety disorder of some kind okay I know that so, you know, I'm just saying, I want you to understand what's happening here. They're at the point now where the new connection, you, has shown them the error of their ways. But now they need to come to you with the tail between the legs and say, well, I'm sorry I didn't choose you. Or I'm sorry I, I, I blew you off. Or, or whatever happened. And this has been going on a spell for most of you because I've talked to a lot of you and I know. Uh, it's been going on a long time. Months. Years even all right for most of you it seems to have gone back to about the start of covid but for some of you it's gone back 10 years 20 years uh you know six months it, it could be anything it but it's long enough to make someone nervous about coming in all right so i'm gonna shuffle the deck and we're gonna do our first cure for cancer card poll so that's what's happening i mean your person yeah technically in the energy they are coming they are thinking about you they do want to approach. They want a brand new beginning with you. That's all coming up in the readings. It's all true. We saw it. We've seen it. It's there. It, it, you know, it's there. We're going to use these Cure for Cancer readings, these little shorts going forward, and they will be shorter than this one going forward. Okay? Just pull a few cards. See where your person's at. See what's going on. We're going to take a sneak peek into your person's life. All right? We're not pulling the connection. We're not doing anything. These readings are going to help me give you the energy updates and the monthly updates a, a much more accurate picture of what's going on. And if I think we get something crazy, crazy weird in one of these uh, cure for cancers, well, I'll extend it if I have to. I'll do it if I have to. We shouldn't, but you never know. I mean, I might. You never know what we're going to get with your person. This is a powerful connection. So let's cut the deck for cancer for the cure first cure for cancer video. You're the test guinea pig here. You're the most powerful soulmate power in the universe all right if this works i'll do something similar for other signs as well although i'm not going to be able to be as clever in the naming with some of the other signs i mean cure for sagittarius that don't make no sense so i'll have to come i'll have to get a little more clever but whatever <laughs> yeah i can do that i can do that all right cure for cancer here we go bottom of the deck king of cups Half a cup of wishy-washy love, normally, but right here, this person, you're in their thoughts. This, this person, uh, I pair this with the Ten of Wands that came up at the beginning. Uh, the love for you is weighing down, weighing them down. I mean, they got a lot of love for you. And, and the King of Cups is love that isn't given. It's, shh, quiet, don't tell cancer, you know, that kind of thing. It's very quiet. They've been very quiet about this. You're like their secret love. Oh, man. Let's, let's do, oh, yeah. What I tell you? Five of, cu five of Cups, the Sad Horse. These, and these energies are right now. Queen of Swords, Seven of Wands. Oh, man. I'll pull one clarifier for each. We'll do a special video here. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. You move too slow. Upright. 
Uh, Ace of Wands. Nine of Swords. Overall energy, lovers. Yeah, I saw that coming. So with the King of Cups and the Ten of Wands as our bottom deck cards. So we're taking a sneak peek into your person right now. The overall sort of, you know, thingy here. The, the, the summary card, we'll call it, is lovers. All right? Now, lovers used to be called a choice. We already know you got a twin flame soulmate connection here or a deep soul connection. Lovers used to be called a choice. This is your person stressing about a choice they made in the past. They're making a choice right now. Right now is, is exactly what I told you. They've realized everyone around them. And they've seen them for what they are. Your love has opened their eyes to what love actually is. And now they want to come towards you. All right. Even though, the, 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 which is a diminishing repelling effect. That, that repel effect is still in place. You two are still opposite polarities. You don't want to come together in electricity. All right. Uh, they need to come over to your side. Once you guys talk and you work everything out, then you come together. You become the same polarity. They become one of you. All right, you're not becoming one of them. You're not going over there with the assholes. All right, so they make it. They made a bad choice in the past. They're making a. They're making a choice now. That choice is being made because your person is suffering. They have a lot of regret. This is. I laid this card down. That sad horse, horse five of cups, and they know it's because I said they move too slow. They move too slow. They think. They think a lot of time has passed. But also, this card clarifying this card means they're just sitting in it. They're just sitting in it, sitting still. All right. Uh, this is the present condition, present position. This is the uh, um, near future. The near future. Uh, I forgot what I forgot what it was called. I'm gonna say distant future, but that no near future. All right, near future. Queen of Swords clarified by the Ace of Wands. What do you think that means? I'll tell you what it means. It means they're gonna come in and speak their truth. All right. Uh, maybe not all lovey-dovey because they're a little bit freaked out, but they're going to come in and speak their truth for a passionate new beginning. We're just looking into your person now. We're not, to, we're not looking at connections. We're not doing anything. I did a pull. That's what these Cure for Cancers are. We're taking a sneak peek at your person because you can't see them. So I'm going to see them for you. All right. This near future. All right. Probably during the May time frame for most of you, the May reading time frame for most of you. But it, the near future is defined in tarot by now to three months okay so keep that in mind they do want to speak their truth they do want to come in they fear they're sitting still right now and also fear a lot of time has passed and they move too slow they're in a lot of regret this here is how your person's feeling they're standoffish right now again they're not doing anything uh the same thing as this knight of pentacles the uh, seven of wands is a defensive position here you're this light all right and right now, how they're feeling, your person is all up in their head. Nine of Swords, I told you at the beginning of this reading with that Ten of Wands, they are all up in their head. I know a lot of you want to know if your person's thinking about you. They are. Uh, but they're feeling very sad. They're feeling they made a bad choice and they made a bad decision. But they need to come to you. And, and when this person does come to you, Cancer, I'm going to be honest with you. You need to decide. Okay. You need to decide if the Queen of Swords is good enough for you. All right, they need to come better than that. If they don't come as the Queen of Cups or at least a Page of Cups, something Cups, you know, the only other Cups we got here is the King of Cups, and that's a half a cup of wishy washy love. That half a cup of wishy washy love, you got to decide if that's good enough for you after all this you've been through. All right, you decide. It's up to you. But this is where your person's at right now. They're sad. They do want to speak their truth. In the near future, they will. You'll have a passionate new beginning. You will have a chance. And then you'll have a choice to make. At that point, the choice is yours. But right now, your person's in a defensive position. Do not contact them. Do not. You do what you want. It's your choice. But I recommend you do not contact them in this position because they're here right now. In the Nine of Swords, you'll just freak them out and scare them off like a scared rabbit. All right? You need to just chill out. And that's where we're at right now. And I'll pull another one of these in a, in, a, in a day or so. I sense the energy changing. I'll give you your regular energy updates too. You know, I'm just going to give you this as a little something extra, this cure for cancer here. With a little sneak peek into your person. Let's just, just because this is the first video, I, I, normally these are going to be shorts, I promise you. But just because this is the first video, I just want to see something here. 
I just want to see something here. All right. Uh, I'm not even going to tell you what I'm asking. Oh, yeah. Well, there's that Leo energy right there. Strength card. Look at that. Look at that. Queen of Cups. Strength card and the Queen of Cups. This is, this is how your love is affecting this person. All right? You've made them a better person, and they actually, I'm right. I, everything I said to you at the beginning of this video, go ahead and rewind. At the end, it ends up being 100% correct. The cards just verified it. You changed this person. You made them a better person. All right? You made them the damn king of the jungle because they actually got to see what real love is. This is the Queen of Cups. It is the ultimate love card in the tarot deck. It is the purest love one human being can feel for another. And that's why they're so damn scared. And that's why they're so damn regretful. And that's why they go, damn it, I waited too long. And that's why now they're not sure what to do. And they're all up in their head. And in the, in the end, they're going to make a choice to come in. But I'm disappointed that it's the combination of the King of Cups and the Queen of Swords. I, I wish it was something. I wish it was something a little better, and we'll see if that evolves going forward. All right, your person changes their mind like that. This energy flip flops and flips around so fast, it's not even funny. All right, so that's the first cure for cancer video. I know. I wish I had a theme song for it. I don't have a theme song. We we don't do editing, and we don't do take twos around here. All right, there's your reading, cancer.